With the weather warming up, your thoughts may be turning to swapping out your wardrobe and filling it with those light, breathable fabrics. And what could be better than linen? Well, nothing, as long as you don't mind the wrinkles. Here with the lowdown on linen is WSJ style reporter Ray Smith. Hi, Ray. Great to see you. And I might add that you are looking absolutely incredibly dapper in your linen. <laughs> Thank you. What You're wearing a linen shirt, correct? Yes, I am. It's yes. fantastic. Thank well, you. Thank before you. we <laughs> take apart your outfit, let's talk about the science of linen. Yes. Why is it that it feels so good to wear on a hot and muggy day? Sure. Linen has a unique cell structure and also a unique chemical structure that makes its absorbency of moisture very, very high. Even more, high, even higher than cotton? Yes, even oh. higher than cotton. And what it means is that your perspiration will dry faster and will be absorbed into the fabric. And what's behind the science then of all those wrinkles? Because that's the one thing a lot of people can't get past. I know, right? Uh, it's because the, the, the fiber that, um, that linen comes from, it's a flax plant. And the flax fiber is very, very stiff. And so that gives it like low resiliency. Right. Which means it's it's just doesn't bounce back if you like sort of crumple it up. And so that's that's what's giving it the wrinkles. And so there are linen lovers and there are linen haters. But yes. yet this season, plenty of retailers are willing to bet there are more lovers out there, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. Uniglo, for instance, as early as February had a store takeover devoted to linen for men and women. Um, J. Crew is uh, beefing up its men's assortment of linen. Um, Everlane has more linen for women than it has um, ever since it, it started, actually. <laughs> um, and also, we're seeing it at the high end, beyond the mass level. We're seeing it like designers like um, Altazara are featuring more linen, too. I'm curious, though, are there linen blends that can retain the best elements of linen, but perhaps not wrinkle as easily? Exactly. Once you start blending linen with something more structured, whether it's cotton or silk or, or wool, it's going to help sort of balance out and make the, the garment a little more structured and less wrinkly. So why not just do that? Is it more expensive or why doesn't everybody get the linen blend? You know, some people actually do, as we said before, Prefer love the pure linen. Yes, yeah, yes. And yeah, that no. sort of lived in look. It's very Latin American. I mean, I love a guy in a linen guayabera. There's nothing hotter than that. So tell us, you are the perfect example of how to wear linen well, correct? You have some great tips for us. Explain what's the secret behind the print, the linen print. Sure. The print actually helps sort of camouflage the wrinkles because you're so focused, your eyes focus on the print and and it disguises the wrinkles so that's one way if you're nervous about wearing linen buy something with prints um, and don't do linen on linen correct um, or it, you it can depends do you can do linen. but okay. a lot of people that I talk to including stylists recommend that you don't mm -hmm. unless you're gonna you're really gonna own it and, and you're gonna sort of own that you're gonna be sort of like lived in looking right um, but it's best if you can sort of pair linen with something that's more structured whether you're wearing a linen shirt but like a structured pant or vice versa and if you're going to work, do what you're doing, which is put a sharp jacket over your linen shirt. Correct? That that actually helps, or wearing some some linen, some type of linen blend. And if you have to take it up one level more formal, even than that, you just throw a tie on. What kind of tie should you wear? You can throw on a tie, but you make sure that the texture is not like a silk tie. You want it to be sort of like earthy, like the linen that you're wearing. So a linen tie goes well with a linen. Shirt. It, it can go okay. well with it. Um, another tip I forgot, Tanya. Sorry, was um, one person recommended that they you steam your linen before you go out in the day. So you don't start off so crinkled. You're going to get crinkled during the day, but but you start off early looking sharp. I have a steamer in my closet that I use <laughs> almost every day. I can't live without my steamer. Ray Smith, thank you so much for thank all this you. great linen tip.